For the last couple of years, about 2,200 of you have seen fit to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I very much appreciate. I really love to teach, um, and I like to offer like a real working photographer's experience uh, with equipment um, to people that don't have my experience and are trying to make really good decisions about what to buy or invest in. To that end, uh, a lot of people over the last couple of years, and especially during COVID, reached out to me and asked me about one-on-one -on -one learning, which became very popular uh, during the pandemic. And I started to do this, and I've kind of got the kinks out of it. Uh, I have the Zoom membership thing where I can go for more than an hour or whatever. And um, I wanted to kind of officially say that I'm available to teach you one-on-one. -on -one. But anyway, if any of you are interested in doing one-on-one -on -one learning with me, I am sort of open for business and to do that. And it's kind of nice because it's, it's at your convenience and mine, and you're going to be in the comfort of your home. Now, what do people ask me to teach? It's really varied. Um, believe it or not, I've actually done some one-on-one uh, -on -one Zooms with people working in their studio with lighting and me sitting on the other end of the laptop. And uh, so lighting uh, is something I know a lot about and I've been using it for, man, since 1984, uh, since I started shooting professionally. Um, the area that is the most popular is image um, reviews. So when I say somebody's shooting a lot of soccer maybe and they just shoot game after game after game but they don't really shoot other sports and they're not really sure they're doing the same thing over and over again. Um, sometimes people will I'll say hey why don't you pick your best 50 soccer pictures and then send them to me by WeTransfer or whatever and then what I do is I put them up on my screen and I share my screen because this way I can see all the data, all the metadata that's built into the file, like what focal length it was, the shutter speed aperture, the ISO, things like that. Um, in this way, I can look at a really high resolution image on my end. You already know what the picture looks like on your end. And then that works out really well. Some people have been doing portfolio reviews. Um, so some people on the younger side, for instance, if they're college age or maybe out of college a few years, it can be very advantageous to work with a really experienced photographer to try to help you put your book together and get into some um, facsimile where you really feel proud of images. And But, you know, not everybody that shoots well edits well. And so that's another area that people have asked me about. And then, of course, the big one is the gear, the gear guy stuff. Um, I just had a conversation with an old friend of mine today, and he was trying to decide which camcorder to buy that Sony makes. And I, after talking to him for 15 minutes, he committed to do the FX3 instead. Um, and I made a pretty good case. It's easy to do. Uh, variable neutral density, the ability to use all these amazing Prime G Master lenses. They're a filmmaker's dream. So, um, so anyway, I just wanted to kind of lay that out there. People know me as a sports photographer, but my background is photojournalism. So I'm happy to look at essays. If you've got a book project underway, you're looking for some input about that. I'm all for it. This is Pat Murphy Racy, a Sony artist of imagery, saying thanks for watching as always. And please, if this is the first time you've seen the video and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and then the bell next to it. The bell next to it will send you an automatic uh, email every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.